Hi everybody. Thanks for joining me for our second part of learning how grace is God's unconditional love in action for everyone. Yesterday we learned that that's how God has always existed, has always related to everyone since before creation. And of course, God has never changed. Last time we looked about how here in the United States and really all over the world, there are riots happening. There are hateful groups where each one thinks that they're right and they're favored by God and the other group is wrong and God hates the other group and is gonna punish them. And the leaders, we talked about a leader from one of these groups coming in and doing a big rally and then there being riots and protests afterwards and people getting hurt, and people getting killed. And we learned that judging what is right and what is wrong is what causes that problem to begin with. The problem is judging what's right and what is wrong. Judging others, they're wrong, we're right. We learn that that is actually the original sin, the first sin, because that misses the mark of God's glory. That's sin, All right? Today, we're gonna to take a look at what is God's glory. One time Moses said, God, I want to see you. I want to see who you really are. I want to see what you're really like. I want to see what you're all about. God, show yourself to me. God said, all right, let's go to a certain place. You get on the edge of this cave, and I'm going to come by. And in response to God saying, I want to see your glory, and in response to Moses saying, I want to see your glory, God said, I'll show you my glory. It is my goodness, which is grace. Fascinating to study that in the Old Testament. God said, my glory is my goodness and my grace. Now, I want to look at another passage that talks about that. It's in Ephesians 1, verses 1 through 8. And as we read this, as you listen to this, I want you to do it through the lens of Jesus, what Jesus is all about, through a Christological lens. Do it through the lens of grace, Jesus, is God's unconditional love in action for everyone. And everyone includes us and them. When you hear this passage now, or if you're reading along, us and we, anytime you hear that, that's actually everyone. Ephesians 1, 1 to 8. Grace, God's unconditional love and action for everyone. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us remember that's everyone, with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ, just as he chose us, remember that's everyone, in him before the foundation of the world, that we, remember that's everyone, would be holy and blameless before him. In love, God chose or predestined us and everyone to adoption as sons and daughters through Jesus Christ to himself, according to the kind intention of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace. God's glory is his grace, which he freely bestowed on us, on everyone in Christ. In Christ, we everyone we all have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace god's unconditional love and action for everyone which he lavished on us everyone if you read that passage and all other passages through the lens of grace god's unconditional love for everyone you start to see things different the problem is judging it's thinking, well, that us only applies to us. We're in, we're out. God loves us, he doesn't love them. God approves us, he doesn't approve them. And we think we judge because of something we say is good and evil, that we're right with God. That passage applies to us and not to everyone. That passage applies to everyone. The problem is all people sin. We all fall short of God's glory, grace, love, and action for everyone. Sin is missing the mark falling short of his grace, which is unconditional love and action. Sin is actually deciding ourselves what's right and what's wrong, what's good and bad. That's playing God. Now tomorrow we're gonna to study some more of this and we're gonna see what was the actual first sin 
and how did it affect us and what did God do? Remember, grace is God's unconditional love in action for everyone. That's how God has always existed and always related to everyone since before creation. And God has never changed. Grace be with you. Grow in grace. See you tomorrow.